Hi, in this lecture, we will start adding a new feature to our restaurant website. First of all, if we take a look at our navigation, we will see reserve a table. This will give us a way so that anyone can reserve a table for himself. Let's open our template. There is a page called the reservation table. So we need to add this feature in our site. First of all, I'm going to take this copy and I'll go to our project SRC and here in our meals I think we should create a new table with reservation so I'm gonna create a new project a new app sorry by some manage to by start app reservation Yeah, just like this. Let's run our server. Now we have a new app called Reservation. Let's open this app. Let's create a new folder with the name of Tumblets. And in this, I'm going to create a new folder with the name of Reservation. And here, I'm going to paste this HTML file. Okay. Let's open our code. Let's close close this. All of this. Okay. And here we have our reservation app. Let's open the models. Let's open the views. And let's open the templates. First, we're gonna create a new class with name of reservation. This is our model class reservation. This model, this model here is from models. Dot model, okay. What's the information we will add in our reservation model? Let's take a look at the front end. Let's go to our theme. Let's open this page reservation to HTML, and here we are. We have a name, email address, phone number of persons, the date, the time. Okay, so let's add this information. We have the name, email, phone. So, we need a name equal to models the core field and we will give it max length equal to, let's say, 15 yeah we need an email phone number of persons so we need email we need phone we need number of persons we also need a date and time so we need a date and we need time okay this is an, an email field okay and the phone let's see this is an integer field field okay and this is the number of versions. This is also an integer field. Yeah. The date, this is date field. Sorry. And the time, this is models the time field. Okay. Now we've just created our reservation model, but we forgot something. Eh? This model needs to this app needs to be imported in our settings to py so here installed apps we need to add a reservation yeah just like this okay now we need to define our str method str and here this method return self dot name okay 
that's here in our jungle there is nothing so now we need to create a make migration migrate because we've added a new model Python manager by make migrations and here by some manage the by migrate let's run our server again and we need to add this model and our admins to by from that models board the servition and we will say admin site that register this reservation okay now if we open our admin if we refresh our page we will see a reservation this is awesome now let's add a new reservation let's add my name Moon. let's say my email address by some developer set at gmail.com the phone number let's say this the number of persons let's say four the date is today the time is now and then let's hit save and this is my reservation okay now we've just created our model we need to create a new view for enabling a user to reserve a table so now in our views let's import our models from the models import reservation okay sorry okay now to complete did this okay now we need to create a view dev reserve table this will take a request from us now we need to connect this view to a URL and our new app has no URLs so we need to create a new file URL as the by okay and here let's take the URLs in the meals let's copy this yeah just like this and let's add it here let's change the app name to reservation okay from that import views and we need to remove this and in the view we will say reserve table and the name is reserve table okay and in the main url we need to add a new url for our reservation app so we will duplicate this and we'll say reserve table this is includes reservation or app it urls with name of reservation just like this okay let's take a look at our server it's working fine okay and here we can refresh our page to see this meal the server is working okay now we need to add to create a new form so that we can enable the user to add new information to this reservation and we need to learn how can we, how can we handle this form in our view and we will do this in the next lecture see you in the next lecture